the world debut of a new product, an energy efficient series sound system from Bose that's uh, making its debut in the Chevy Volt. Uh, the energy efficient series sound system is designed around a principle called high efficiency technology for Bose. I want to talk a little bit about what that means. Fundamentally, what it means is that all of the components in the system and the architecture that combines those components together is designed around the principle of uh, mass reduction, space reduction, and energy efficiency. In fact, the energy efficient series system is 30% smaller, 40% lighter, and uses 50% less energy than a comparable Bose sound system. Uh, if you think about the way a sound system works, its job is to take energy and turn it into sound. In this case, the energy comes from that T-shaped battery pack that we just saw Frank talking about a little bit earlier. The amplifier is the first step in this process, and what the amplifier does is it takes very low-level signals from the vehicle's head unit and brings them up to a level that it's uh, loud enough to drive speakers. This process is inherently very inefficient. In fact, with a conventional linear amplifier like this one, almost 75% of the energy being drawn from the battery is turned into heat. That's why these amplifiers are designed with these large metal cases, heat sinks like this one. You can see the purpose of these fins is to dissipate all of that heat being generated by the amplifier's electronics into the air. Now contrast this amplifier with this one. This is the amp that's designed for use in the Chevy Volt. You can see that it's physically smaller. You can look on these scales later and see that it's actually lighter as well. Because the Energy Efficient Series amplifier uses switching outputs, which are designed to allow the amplifier to run cooler and, uh, and operate more efficiently. The amplifier takes less power from the vehicle's battery. Uh, and as Frank described earlier, in an electric-only vehicle, every watt that you're using to make sound is a watt that you're not using to move the car further forward. Speakers are also inherently very inefficient. The way most speakers work is they take a coil of wire, a very thin coil of wire called a voice coil, and they put that coil in proximity uh, to a magnet. If you think about what happens when you put a current through a thin wire, uh, the wire heats up, right? Think about these hot lights that are shining here right now. Uh, or an electric blanket is another, uh, another good example. Uh, this energy being wasted as heat is what makes speakers inherently inefficient. And so what we've tried to do is we've tried to come at the efficiency equation from a speaker perspective as well. So let me give you an example. These two speakers are both 8 inches in diameter. They're designed to do the same thing. These aren't speakers that are in the vault, by the way. This is just an example to illustrate my point. But these 8-inch diameter speakers use different materials for the magnets that make the speakers work. One of them is made out of ferrite. This is a very uh, traditional material that's used in speaker magnet designs. This one's made out of neodymium. It's about three times lighter than its comparable ferrite equivalent. These neodymium magnets allow us to make speakers that are lighter but still do the same job in terms of turning energy into sound of their more traditional ferrite components. A uh, design philosophy called a high motor force designs. The neodymium magnets in the energy efficient series speakers actually do a better job at taking the output power from the amplifier and turning it into sound. Uh, so not only are they smaller and lighter, but the speakers, in fact, are more efficient as well. That's the fact that the technology that we use to combine the amplifiers and the speakers is fairly significant as well. These high motor force speakers with these neodymium magnets tend to be more uh, sensitive to environmental uh, constraints, environmental concerns that can vary loudspeaker performance over time. And so one of the things that we've had to do is create some proprietary circuitry and uh, control algorithms that allow the amplifiers to, to control the speakers in a manner that guarantees that we receive the lifelike sound and impact and dynamics that you've come to expect from the Bose brand. So how efficient is it? Right? alone is enough to remove about 50, virtually remove about 50 pounds of mass from the vehicle. So as we said before, every gram is important, every milliwatt counts, and every watt that we're using to uh, power the sound system is a watt that we can't be using to improve upon that 40 miles of all-electric range and get, the, uh, and get the vehicle down the road a little bit further.